Krusey. Welcome to After the Show Inside Jokes with Carla Collins, KJ Preston, Darren Frost, and that guy in the back. I just like to be in the back like a creeper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using Carla Collins, the TV star celebrity, to do this right now. And I normally don't sit beside women this skinny because uh, I'm a tumbler. Oh, and I know. Eating. Eat. <laughs> um, okay, so we're talking about great stuff on the show, so you'll have to definitely tune into Inside Jokes this week as we're usually... Uh, different audience and stuff. I want to hear about the uh, funniest uh, th uh, thing that's happened to you uh, on the road or doing comedy. The funniest memories you've had in your oh. 20 some odd years. Mm. Well, I mean, again, I haven't been doing comedy for 20 yes, some odd years. Yes. So, um, but, no, but you do shows, you do a lot of productions, a lot of TV shows. There are a lot of, I don't know, the one that's coming to the top of mind is um, I play a lot of old age homes, <laughs> like a couple of retirement communities. <laughs> And because you are looking at sexual cat catnip <laughs> to every man over 90, um, that's my bang house. And they I'm must always love saying, you. oh my God, like if you're only appear in black and white, you will want to hit this. And <laughs> which is mortifying because it's like, what are we going to go up in your, you know, acorn stair lift and your walk in tub? Jesus. <laughs> anyway, um, so at the end of a show, I was talking to the organizers who had booked me. And an old guy came up, because sometimes they're really fast. They're like little ninjas. Like, usually I can outrun them because the oxygen tanks. I can outrun them. And the walkers. And this guy just started doing this to my left nipple. No, he didn't. And to God. For, and it went on, for, like, for a really long time, because I froze. <laughs> you know, like when you're a kid, you pee your pants and you just keep talking? Oh, that sounds good. I like Speed Racer, too. Not that that happened, by the way. But, so he just kept, and so, because um, I also don't know how long this old bugger has. Like, you know, I'm, I'm a nice Canadian Give girl. Up. Give him a little thrill, yeah. and I, I kept talking to the organizers like, "Ooh, warm, warm water with lemon, yes, and some apple cider vinegar." And finally, I was just like, "Sir, could you please stop?" But if I could do it again, I would just be—it's not the life alert button. It would be my great comeback at the time. It was like but I was just sir, it's really embarrassing right now for everyone. <laughs> How's the me. cards that happened? Uh, the guy was dying in the deathbed, and the wife of Kevin Spacey there or whatever. Robin um, Wright. Mr. Beat. <laughs> like in bed. Yes. Yes. Okay, so that's the actual ending of my uh, story because <laughs> yeah. I'm a giver. I uh, said, listen, yeah. sir, you don't have to grab my. Well, I'll, I'll give you a little hinge. You appear to be about 95. <laughs> a little hinge. Just a little hinge. That, that doesn't hurt anyone. How um, do you play? Okay, so what kind of material do you do in a retirement home? Because I've been tempted to I do, do my, my mom's. tight World War II stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's good stuff. All the right, jokes Eric? start in the east and they move west and they stop <laughs> in a certain place and they're pushed back. It's too far, those jokes. So you just do. I don't know. I, just, I play with the crowd. A lot of them, they, you know. I All the I'm Jews like, leave. My, uh, I'm French, so a lot of the Germans just end up invading me by the end. Yeah. I, um, yeah. I do a lot of my gangster rapper stuff for the old guys and uh, some, some you know. It's a growing audience. Is the elderly, so you can I'm hiding in the wall. I pop out. <laughs> Are the Nazis still here? I go back in the wall. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, it never stops. The old really people does. love that shit. World War II stuff, are you kid. I'm yeah. just like, where are my legionnaires at? Yeah. Obviously. They and, put their hats um, on. They start drinking early. A lot of hard bullets. Then the tree table comes out and the show shuts down. <laughs> And it's all over. And Darren, it's four o'clock. Darren sneaks into a lot of my shows. Yeah. I'm real yes. Yes. And he gets the right nipple, though. Yeah. The left nipple is strictly for older men. Yes. If breathe. you're 90 and above, you can touch this one. He just walks right up. So God loves just, And just like, and looking <laughs> straight. And I don't know why. That, the height thing. Which it's obviously, thing. if you want to molest me, apparently I freeze. So, uh, and this just kept talking like this will this won't last. But, but it did. It was tantric. It just went on. But this is, I have this plan when I hit a certain age. I'm going to, like, 80. I'm gonna do crystal meth, mm -hmm. male hookers, and I'm just gonna randomly grab people. Like, what? Who's gonna say anything? God, I was just gonna shoplift because I thought that's what you had the license <laughs> to do when you turn eighty. Yeah. You shoplift. You're like, what is yeah. that in your bag? Don't worry about it. But I'm going for higher end stuff, not just the Denny's like salt and yeah. pepper shakers. You like people, I'm stuff. you know, I'm going like you know Christian Louboutins and stuff. I'm gonna go high end when I shoplift. As you can an old do bag. it now. Actually. I love it. Winona Ryder lowered that for you. Oh, I thought you could Soon do it you now, Carly, because you're Done. clearly eighty five. <laughs> <laughs> Carla sure. Collins uh, with KJ Preston. Gilda's Comedy Beach Fest happening Friday, February 24th at 6.30 at Ferndale Banquet Hall. It's at a banquet hall, so you know it it's going to be good. Yes. Hey, it includes a lot of good stuff. And, and Rally for Cancer at live.com to get tickets. Uh, also, Andrea Murray's on the show. That's going to be a great show. Awesome. I think that's fantastic. Thanks to San Diego Homes. I like to plug the sponsor. Oh, very nice. What's the other show you guys are doing for a women's shelter? 
Well, we're in uh, March 31st, we're going to be doing a fundraiser for the uh, Barry Women and Children Shelter. They receive so little funding. Uh, mm. in, in, you know, City of Barry gets a bunch of money in, everybody gets money, and then the Women and Children Shelter gets what's left over. Oh, dear. Uh, you know, if, if I could just say something real quick about yeah, them, of you know, the average, the average uh, woman, it takes eight times going to the intake before they actually go to the shelter. And the reason why I told, shared this with Carla the other day, the reason why I helped help this this great cause i went in there to do some work i own a company does molten asbestos abatement and i saw this little boy there he was maybe five and i thought what what the hell is this kid seen at five years old that his mom had to go eight times to the intake oh, yeah. and what happened before the first time she went oh, yeah. there right um so it's it's one that's very close to my heart we've been helping them for years my daughters have lemonade stands and give all the money oh. to the shelter it's very close to my heart it's got a uh, heart like great, a whale great cause oh. yeah uh, I'm the size you. of a whale, so it's And good funny. for you for performing there, too. I think uh, the big part of comedy that we kind of undertone is how much giving back happens with comedy. And we saw it with the passing a lot of comedians this past year, unfortunately, and all the fundraising that's gone on. Uh, and, and this is just some of the things that, uh, you know, check out these shows that when these fundraisers are on and there's comedy going on, they're a great night out, and you're giving back to your community. That's very important. And uh, Darren Frost is not giving back to the community. No. Um, February 22 to 25. No. Yeah, Cucks. My funny story, Sandra, I've yes. already got it prepared. So this is my uh, <laughs> this is my comedy poster that's hanging in the comedy club, right? So it's yes. obviously for adults. And during the day, uh, the manager of the comedy club uh, said to me that he was there, and these little girls, like 8 and 10, were in the comedy club, and they pointed at my poster, and they go, Who's that? <laughs> and the manager goes, Oh, that's a comedian. He does comedy here. Does he do that on stage? <laughs> like, no, Bud yes. Dwyer did. Yes, one time, and it's my closer. <laughs> one time, that's it. So if you come on the right night, right, you you're going to see something. See some baby. Sunday night, if you like video games. Exactly. <laughs> Popping out of and, your head. And just so you know, February 22nd at the, at the Yuck Yucks downtown, they're playing a movie called Dying Laughing. It's the airing of a documentary that they shot. All these big star comics talk about dying on stage. And I'll be doing 20 minutes of stories about me dying on stage because I've died a lot. In fact, I'm the only comedian in the history of Toronto comedy, all right, that people water taxied off a boat <laughs> than, can, than would rather water taxi yeah. off a boat than watch the rest of my act. <laughs> so put that in your pipe, Sean Majunder, Jerry Dean, all you CBC fucks. Uh, you got that credit, motherfucker? I don't think you do, all right? So I'll sit in my basin, my kids will cry themselves to sleep, because they can't afford college, but I'll have that story, you bunch of fucks. And that goes on the web, there we go. And support your local women's shelter. That's it. <laughs> By the way, boy. this is obviously a family show and a musical, so make sure yeah. you bring Grandma Millie and your pastor, priest, yeah. or rabbi, obviously. Yeah. The oh, my, it is, is a religious best. experience. Carla, could you, how do I close out the show? What's proper? Like, I always... I, don't I think Darren just did. I yeah. Edit out know the names. I don't want to get sued. What we, what, how you close every show is yes. we all go on a water taxi. Yes. <laughs> get the hell yes. out. That's we it. have them. That's yeah. the pan out, yeah. chorus key. We've got yeah. one. And at the end, I go to the roof and I throw my hand up like every time and more. <laughs> but it's the contract for the gig. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Water taxi me, my ass. Keep your 30 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Eat your buffet and shut up. Oh, my God. You know, so, my, if you need my left nipple, I'm just saying. <laughs> you seem upset. Okay. Got a sandwich on the boat. Oh, God. I'm I am lactating again. I, I, this is fantastic. Carlos Thank Collins. you. Aw, bring you. it in, because they like the woman on woman action. I know. I love it. Kiss. And you I never, we've it. got a lot of breasts all at once. No hugs. KJ Preston. Thanks. And Darren, no, no, no touching. No, no, no touching. And Dean, yeah, yeah, yeah. someone touch Mandel. Please. Check out Someone Inside Jokes Sunday nights at 8. And after the show on YouTube, watch them all. This was actually a going to be close to my heart. I'm going to watch this one over and over. <laughs> I think that Darren... I believe uh, she means Spank Bank. Yeah, yes. Oh, nice. Spank Bank. This is Spank Bank material. Thanks for watching Inside Jokes after the show. <laughs>